everyone Christina here hello so I picked up first of all I want to show you my sweet potato plant I need to get it outside with a quickness so I pulled these off of sorry about my sinuses they're like really bad um, I plucked these off of a sweet potato and put it in water per some of our people on our telegram chat telling me to do this and look at this that's amazing so sits in the cup in the window for now so I need to get it in the ground or in a pot <clears throat> so today I'm using heavy whipping cream whoops can't see it heavy whipping cream to make butter if you can get raw milk and you can scoop off the cream off the top then that's even better if you have a cow and you can do this with heavy cream well I guess it'd just be cream then that's even better because then you're not paying so much well you're not paying anything extra for that cream so these are one quart each I did a video recently where I showed that I went to Shetler's um, I guess it's a Mennonite store and I only pay $3.99 a piece for these for so basically eight dollars for two quarts so we'll see how much this makes it should make at least close to about a pound <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna see I got my handy dandy KitchenAid out she hasn't been well I have a dust cover on her she hasn't been out from under that dust cover in a while quite a while so we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens so all you do and you can also use and I did shake this up quite a bit you can also use um, like a canning jar and shake the heck out of it you can also use a um, blender you can also use a food processor like I have a KitchenAid food processor as well I could have done that with but I wanted to use this I think this will wind up being better so all you do simple as this is dump your milk in And I have done this many times before. Everybody does the end part a little bit different. Like you are supposed to rinse your butter. There's times that I didn't know I was supposed to do that in the beginning. And it still came out fine. It just doesn't last as long. So for the longevity of the butter. Then you really need to rinse your butter in ice cold water. Or ice water. So then all you do is, whoops, wrong way, haven't used it in a while. Raise that up and then you want to start slowly so you don't want this to splatter everywhere, obviously. Excuse my voice and excuse my sniffling cleared my throat I have some kind of sinus issue going on so I apologize and you just let it stir it should take it should take like I'm guessing 15 minutes and I won't bore you all through this whole process so I will bring you back in stages as the whipping cream turns to like whipped cream and then starts to turn to butter 
so that's going to take a little while to go through this whole process so I'll show you the next step oh something else I wanted to add in while this is just stirring before I turn it up so it's too loud and I have to turn my volume down before 2020 y'all know what I mean the prices of butter was way lower now it's like four and five dollars for a pound at least here I don't know about where you are so actually this is still not very economical but the difference is it tastes way better and it's fun to make so if you have kids you want to show them the little little things like we used to do back in the day then this is a very good idea especially like I said if you have raw milk if you can get raw milk from a farmer then that's even better and it tastes so much better but this tastes way better than regular store-bought butter and you can also add garlic chives you know you can do all kinds of stuff and make like separate it out even and make different flavored butters if you want to you can make honey butter um, you can make like the I think I have I'll have to look if I do then I'll put the I card up in the right hand top corner but I think I even did the Texas Roadhouse butter dupe or copy um, I can't remember if I did a video on that if not I need to but there's all kinds of things you can do to switch this up so I'm getting ready to turn this up and let it really start going and I will see y'all in a second okay I'm gonna fast forward right here see what the consistency is it's still watery it's not quite a whipping cream yet or whipped cream yet so here we go look how thick just in a couple minutes like that was literally a couple of minutes and I'll have to figure out what part I'm gonna fast forward and not but this is very thick so this is a little and I wasn't paying attention that's how quick it can turn this is past the whipped cream and now it tastes more like a bland whipped cream and you want to start knocking it down as well when you get to this point. That way you get all of it mixed. Okay, I'm going to start it again. This is probably going to go pretty quick. Knock it down again. You also want to start really watching it when it gets to this point because when it starts sloshing around because the buttermilk is separating from the butter at that point when it gets to the butter point, uh, the butter stage, then you really need to watch it and slow your mixer down. You can also throw a towel over the top so it doesn't splash everywhere. You ha you'll minimize your mess anyway otherwise you can just slow it down more but just keep knocking it down so it keeps getting so it keeps getting mixed Okay, here we 
go. Now it's starting to turn into butter. See how it pulled away from the sides? slowed it down it's I can see the buttermilk in the bottom already so I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna really slow it down I don't want to mess on me not on me on the floor so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna lower it down there we go messy Okay, I had to go locate my cheesecloth. I have a tea towel, but that's kind of thick. So, I don't, I haven't seen these lately. But, I got this at Dollar General for a dollar. This is one piece of cheesecloth. You can find better deals. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can probably find a whole lot more for a good price. I just picked these up. Several of them probably two years ago just because so you want to save as much of the butter out of here as you can so what I'm gonna do is put the cheesecloth over the jar and I need to get a bowl to put that in here that has the bulk of the butter and I'm also going to use a spoon get some more of this butter out and everybody has a different way of doing this I'm no pro I'm just showing you what can be done. I just want to salvage, my hands are clean by the way, I just want to salvage as much of this butter out of here as I can. You can also use the buttermilk in cooking. I wouldn't really drink it, but I guess you could. But you can use this buttermilk in cooking or for whatever else you want to use it for. And I hope this works without making too big of a mess. Wow, that filled that up already. Okay. Get another one.
And here comes the rain again. We're supposed to get some severe storms. I hope not. So keep us in your prayers. Well, it looks like milk, doesn't it? That's a whole pint of buttermilk. Let's see, back there. Okay. Put that over there. That's a, oh, show y'all. I filled up two pints and that's all that's left. Okay, so it still needs to be rinsed. The butter does. Like I said, everybody does this different. I don't think there's really a right or wrong. I'm not a pro. <laughs> By no means. Y'all know that. So, whatever. And then if you don't want to keep that one section, you can always cut it off. Cut, whoa, cut it off and save the rest. So, here's two wide mouth pints of buttermilk. And those can go in the fridge. I'm wondering if I can use them to make ranch dressing with. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this out a little bit. cold water in here and you want to take your butter and form it and squeeze it. See all that? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Okay, that's good. So before you rinse it, you want to squeeze as much of the buttermilk out of the butter that you can. And I wanted to get those out of the way before I conquer this. And the more buttermilk you get out of your butter, the longer it's going to last and the harder it's going to become. I do know. And if you've ever done this before, or if you want to, leave a comment. What One way or the other, leave me a comment for sure. Also, do me a huge favor, and I know everybody says this, but it is it is important for other people to see my videos. Please like this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Oh, wow, that was a lot. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, or at least consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are a new subscriber, please leave a comment saying new sub here or new subscriber. So I can welcome you to the channel. This is probably an extra, maybe close to half a pint of buttermilk. This is very, ther ther how do you say, it? therapeutic. Up oh, here comes KJ. I'm going to come in being all loud, trying to have my quiet time.
Okay. Messy, messy. You can wear gloves if you want to. So then, y'all can't see this. You're going to want to form it. I'll probably just dump the rest of that out. You're going to want to form it and rinse it really well. In cold water. It's supposed to be ice water. I guess I could throw some ice in here. I don't have cold water right now. Like ice cold water out of the fridge. I'm going to form some of this back together. I already said you come in being all loud. I already knew you would. Am I in trouble? Am I in trouble, dragonflies? You're always in trouble. I was like, oh, here comes KJ. You come in being all loud. I mean, seriously, I had my quiet time for a little bit. I'll leave again. Bougie, I'm going. You lie. Tell Bougie, I'm going. <laughs> you lie. Okay. Going to my shop. <laughs> so I have three of these. I'll try to form it. Get some of this water out. And then you just want to take it, squeeze as much of the water out as you can, and then take it and put it in a container and form it. Can you come here for a second and do me a favor? Mama, I can't. I can't turn the camera. Come here. I can't turn the camera off. I can't wash my hands. Nothing. You're on your own. Come here. Mama, don't let babies grow up to be cowboys. Make them be lawyers and doctors instead. What do you need from me, dragonflies? What's the problem? Look, that's two quarts. I mean, what do you need me for? Butter. I need soap and I need I need the dawn. Are you and handicapped? I and I need the water. You're mentally handicapped. And I need the water on. <clears throat> Give me the Dawn from down there. I don't know what Dawn dish soap is. I know you don't. So you don't know how to clean. Is your fans watching and listening yes. right now? Okay, this is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there. There's just okay. some soap. Okay, jeez. Oh, I want to blow bubbles. Oh, my God. Get Turn the water on and get out my kitchen. Now I'm staying. Turn the water on. I'm staying the rest of the time. <laughs> Would you like cold or hot? Cold. What's best for you? Cold? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm editing all this out just so you know. Uh, why? Why not have some fun and enjoy life? <laughs> Wait till you see this cool thing I got. I got cat food. Lord have mercy on me. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. After that fiasco of KJ coming in being all loud, like I said, I already knew. <laughs> Acting up. So I went and got ice cubes and put ice cubes in the water because this needs to harden up. I guess from it being, it is kind of warm in here. Then it's not forming like I want to and probably from the body heat from my hands too it did that so I'm gonna let it sit in ice water and start getting firm and I'll bring y'all back and show you what it looks like in a container and I also need to get those two jars of buttermilk closed up and put in the fridge so while this is getting cold it's pretty cold now pretty hard now I went out and gave mama kitty who's nursing four babies and Tommy the rest of that little bit of buttermilk out of the bottom of that bowl and they loved it it's a good fat for them even though cats are not supposed to have milk it's still like the liquid part of the butter so I have these leak proof ball lids Okay, I had to readjust y'all. Unplug that. Push that back out the way. And I have these. They do have a seal and they lock down. I don't know if it's going to take those. It probably will to put the butter in. So these really hardened up nice. I don't know if you can tell. So doing the ice water definitely, you definitely want to do that. See the difference? So something else you can do. Is you can take these. I wouldn't really let them get warm. But you can take these. And put them in a strainer and let some of the more of the water drip off. Let them dry out a little bit. Okay, that's probably good. Like I said, you can add salt, you can add seasonings, you can I mean you can do what you want to with these. Get my little spatula that copycat gave me with a little bunny on it, little mini spatula, and press this in here. Actually, I might be able to fit, I think I could fit both in one container. But if you put seasonings or anything with this, which I'm not going to, then or at least not right now, then you want to do it in a bowl before you form it in here, obviously. Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe. Is it going to fit? So if you've never tried this, you definitely need to. KJ can tell you how much better it is than store-bought. Of course I can too. Now I have more dishes. <laughs> so there's a few air pockets, but for the most part, there's the container. taste it now mm. 
Mm. It tastes like homemade butter. It really does. So for eight dollars, I got. I'm gonna weigh this and put it in the video, but I believe. And I will tear the weight of the container. And cause I believe this is closer to probably two pounds. Okay. Tear. You'll see that? You saw I, t I did a tear on that container. So let me switch it to pounds. Oh, I was wrong. So it's 1.6. So it's one and a half pounds of butter. I was wrong. The other person was wrong and I was wrong. But we were both wrong. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Two quarts of heavy whipping cream actually makes and I don't know if anybody's ever weighed this before but it actually makes a barely over one and a half pounds of butter so like I said it's not as economical if you can get the butter cheap I mean if you can get the milk cheaper the cream cheaper but it tastes so much better so much better than store-bought like I've said several times already so I guess that will be it. Hope y'all learned something from this. And like I said, leave me a comment in the description box below. And up here I will put any iCards for anything related to this video that I can find. And leave me a comment below. And let me know if you've made your own homemade butter or if you haven't. Either way, leave me a comment, please. Yes or no. And what you thought of it, if you did make it. Please leave me a thumbs up. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I will catch y'all on the next one that's coming up very soon. Y'all be blessed.